Hello there, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day was a beautiful, beautiful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful loved ones. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, I will say this, and please echo it as much as you like. And this statement is, get your knee off my neck. That statement is directed at white folks, those white people. Get your knee off my neck. Stop. Stop proliferating this illusion of white innocence. There is no white innocence. Get your knee off my neck. There is no white innocence. Eradicate that illusion. You all, all of you white folks, benefited from slavery. All of you white folks benefited from Jim Crow. All of your, all of you white folks are benefiting from systemic racism, institutional racism, right here on this plantation called America. Get your knee off my neck. Get up off of me. Get up off of us. You white folks, you white folks, too many of you take pride and you see black death as entertainment, reflection backwards, public lynching to those white folks was an entertainment event. They brought food and after the lynching, after the black death, those white folks would go picnicking to enjoy themselves, feasting after the animal had been killed, after the animal had been euthanized, et cetera, et cetera. Black folks like me are calling this plantation called America to its duties to rectify the injustices, to adhere to the Constitution adhere to the Constitution. You have not adhered to the Constitution because your knee is still on my neck. Get your knee off my neck. There have been so many martyrs beginning with Emmett Till the three civil rights workers in Philadelphia, Mississippi, MLK Jr., Malcolm X, Fred Hampton, William Clark, Huey Newton, Eric Garner, George Floyd, Tamir Rice, Michael Brown, Trayvon Martin, get your knee off my neck. All of those martyrs were screaming, get your knee off my neck. But you didn't hear them, America. You did not hear. You did not hear these martyrs screaming for America to remove its knee from their neck. 
humans, humans, human beings, especially black folks, people that look like me, are synonymous with hope. We always cling to hope, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, even though we have the weight, all of that weight of that heavy knee on our necks, we are still seeing through the pain, the assault, the frustration, the obstacles, the storm, and we see hope at the end of that. Leadership, leadership, white folks right here on this plantation called America must do a May culpa, that's M-E-A-C-U-L-P-A, and I believe it's pronounced May culpa, and it means accepting responsibility, acknowledging your faults, your wrongs, your evils, etc., etc. And then after you do the May Copa, you must spring into action and make things better, eliminating this these injustices, eliminating the need for these racist white cops to see black death as entertainment, enjoyment for them. Get your knee off my neck. 25% of the total death from COVID-19, 25% of the total death from COVID-19 are black folks, people that look like me. They're black folks, people that look like me. In some cities, 70 to 80% of the death from COVID-19 are black folks, are black folks, people that look like me. Get your knee off my neck. Get your knee off my neck. 45% of the so-called essential jobs are held by black folks, people that look like me. Those jobs cannot be done from home. Black folks have to get out there every day and negotiate around the chances, the risk, of contracting COVID-19. Get your knee off my neck. White cops, white racist cops are given a license to kill black folks. Racist white cops are given a license to kill black folks. Stop making black folks the game for your hunting expedition when you are into when you are in black communities. Get your knee off my neck. If white folks, especially white politicians and legislators, if they do not value black life, then there's no way these white folks should try to uh, should try to legislate black folks. 
if you don't value black life, then you cannot legislate black folks. The conundrum of life for black folks, for people that look like me, the conundrum of life for black folks, for people that look like me, are filled with obstacles, are filled with obstacles for black folks. The conundrum of life on this plantation called America are filled with obstacles and risk for black folks. Black folks, people that look like me, have been risking their lives for freedom, for justice, since our ancestors were brought here in chains. Black folks, people that look like me, have been risking their lives since they were brought here. Since they were brought here during the transatlantic slave trade. 401 years has been the burden for black folks, people that look like me, risking our lives for freedom, for justice. Get your knee off my neck. This plantation called America is never going to be a white na nation. You must forget about that, white folks. It will never be a white nation. Get your knee off my neck. This plantation called America will always be a very diverse, a very diverse country. Do, are you aware of the blackening and the browning of America. That is one of the main reasons Trump was elected. That is the main reason why 63 million white folks voted for Trump in 2016. They have this illusion that this make America great again is making America white again. That is an illusion that will never happen. Get your knee off my neck. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the thrashaway.libsyn.com. There you will get access to all.